T Tran asks, hey, any tips on bidding at auctions? That's a great question. These are five ninja hacks at bidding at auctions. Oh, by the way, don't show this to your real estate agent. And if you're a real estate agent, swipe away. I don't want you to see this video. Hack number one, always get a computer valuation on the property you're bidding at. To give you a live example, right now I have a client who's been in contact with me for a couple of days and says, the property which is blacked out is rejected and the vendor is taking the house to auction. They also asked me for advice. Is there anything you can advise to ensure a smooth auction? For example, you were bidding for this property, which is say, for example, a property that was settled in Blacktown and we suss out the property is worth 1.21 million. Say this property is going on auction on this Saturday and the real estate agent always says, oh, it's a range between 900 and 1.4 million dollars, but starting price is 900K. What we all know the real estate agent is lowballing the deal so that you think you can buy the property, so you attend. By getting a computer valuation, at least you know where the bank stands in terms of a conservative point of view when they're valuing against this property when you purchase it. Tip number two, obviously get a bloody pre-approval before you go to an auction. It's like having zigs on a one night stand where I can't down. Always be protected. And tip number three, when you're at the auction, to give you a bird's eye view, the property that is being sold is here. The auctioneer will usually stand at the front. There's usually a lot of people that's on watching. Don't be a noob and stand at the front, okay? Don't stand here, stand at the back. Reason being, you wanna holistically see who you're bidding with. If you're standing at the bloody front, you can't see the people behind you. This leads to tip number four, observe body language when you're at the auction, guys. Especially with couples when they attend auctions, usually they will bid like this. For example, for that couple that's standing side by side, like this, usually the male or the female will be doing this, bidding, okay? Look out for their body language when they start turning towards each other and looking at each other. For example, and then, this means they're gone beyond their budget and they're like, shit, what do we do? And don't laugh first home buyer noob, because this applies to you too. If you're going with your spouse or your mate or your friend, your family, and you're bidding at auctions, remain calm and cool. No matter what happens, never turn around with each other and start looking nervous and like, oh, what do we do kind of thing. If I'm a professional investor, which I am, and I see you start doing that while you're just doing that and that, and then suddenly do that, I know you're at the ropes. And guys, if I see you noobs do that, I'm not gonna outbid you with 10K. I'm gonna outbid you with like 80 or 100K. Which leads me to tip number five. How do you stay calm and collected? Before you go to the auction, set three budgets for your property. Number one, in terms of the property, what you wanna buy it for. Write down the figure. Example, you put one mil. Second budget is what you want to buy it for after your budget is exceeded. Because that will happen, guys, and you might put 1.1 mil. The third and final limiter is what you will not pay over Otherwise, someone will shoot your baby in the face. That is a no-go zone. By knowing that, you can stay calm and collected and you won't do this shit. Hope it helps.